Hey everybody, in this video I'll be showing you how do you add a back button in your iPhone. Now usually, typically in your iPhones, you don't get these back buttons that you do have in Android phones. You just click those buttons and you turn to your home screen, you go back to your previous menu or whatever. T turn it on, you're going to go into accessibility, go into uh, touch, turn on the assistive touch uh, feature. It's going to bring this annoying button on your screen. Now what you want to do is, you have to configure how your single tap, double tap, long press and 3D touch uh, respond when you click on this button. So on single tap, you can go to open menu maybe, or if you want to, if you want to add it as a back button, you can just go all the way down and click your single tap as your home, uh, as your home screen. It takes you to your home screen. So now if I click on my, uh, button once a single tap would take me to my home screen. And this way I can just go back to my home screen. And this is how you can just create a back button on your iPhone. Now it's not, uh, you can also have like a lot of other options like accessibility options, gestures, and uh, mute, long press, long screen, lock screen, lock rotation, app switcher. Now if I click on this, it's going to switch to my previous app. I can check all my other apps as well. I can switch between different apps that I'm using. So you can also use it to uh, open accessibility shortcut, analytics, camera, control center, and uh, a lot of different things, you know. But if you want to use, if you want to use it as a back button, just turn the single tab option to the home. Uh, option. It takes you to your home screen. Now you can also create a new gesture. You just tap or swipe to create a custom gesture, give it a function, name the gesture, save it and enable it and your iPhone will be able to detect these uh, gestures and respond accordingly. So let's just give this name, let's just give this gesture a name of back. Okay, so this gesture is going to be used to back stuff. Okay, now this is a custom gesture. You can use custom gestures, you can use the assistive touch uh, buttons, to configure. Now I just I configured the single tap. You can do it for double tap, long press, and 3D touch and know what your button does. 